Welcome to Futex. If you met me on the street, would I startle you? Would you greet me? A renowned figure in the field of humanoid robotics, Hiroshi Ishiguro is known for creating lifelike androids. Among his notable achievements is the creation of a robotic copy of himself, demonstrating how robotics and artificial intelligence have advanced. An Osaka University professor has created a robotic double that looks like a waxen mummy. Its dead eyes coldly observing the flesh of children around it as the geminoid looks like a creepy waxen mummy. Part cyborg, part doll, part Shigeru Miyamoto, part Dracula, it is part cyborg. You hate this thing. It is part cyborg, part real doll, part Shigeru Miyamoto, part Dracula, and it is horrible. It hates you. It seems that Professor Ishiguro is unaware that his geminoid robot evacuates the bladder. The professor rasps, at first you may feel strange about it. However, once you are drawn into a conversation, you will forget every difference, and you will feel totally comfortable looking it in the eyes and talking to it. I don't find any particular difference between talking through Geminoid and talking as myself, Ishiguro said. According to Professor Ishiguro, he spends a lot of time remote controlling the Geminoid. As a result, Professor Ishiguro upped the creep factor by a factor of 10 with one casual remark, it's quite strange, but when someone touches the body of a Geminoid, I feel very similar to being touched. A fascination with human behavior and interaction led Ishiguro to create androids that resemble humans closely. By capturing human-like features and movements, he was able to create robots that mimic facial expressions, gestures, and even vocal patterns in highly realistic ways. It's the perfect tool for Ishiguro's field of research, human-robot interactions, which are a study of both humans and robots. My research question is what a human is, he mentioned. As a testbed for my hypotheses about human nature, intelligence, and behavior, I use robots that are very human-like. There has been a long-standing interest in making robots behave and look more like humans, of course. Among the most notable efforts in this regard are Waseda University's Wabot, MIT's COG, NASA's Robonaut, Sarkoz's Sarkoman, the Toyota Partner Robots, Japan's MITI HRP series, Sony's Creo, and perhaps most famous of all, Honda's Osimo. The robots created by Ishiguro at the Advanced Telecommunications Research Institute International, known as ATR, may appear mechanical, yet our brains are designed for human-to-human -human interaction. This is why he builds humanoid robots and coined the term Geminoid, from the Latin for twin, to refer to android copies of people. His own Geminoid was dubbed Geminoid HI1. He hopes to decipher what the Japanese call Sanzai Khan, the feeling of being in the presence of a human being. Where does this feeling come from? Can a robot convey those qualities? The idea of connecting a person's brain so intimately with a remotely controlled body seems straight out of science fiction. The Matrix features virtual individuals controlled by humans, Avatar features alien-human hybrids as the controlled bodies. A robot proxy is sent into the world in Bruce Willis's recent movie Surrogates. Ishiguro and the Geminoid appear in a TV news report about the rapid growth of robotic surrogacy as cameos in Surrogates. Ishiguro's surrogate may not have the technologically advanced features seen in films, but it has given him a unique perspective into how our brains respond to machines that look like humans. Assisted by cognitive scientists, Ishiguro is also exploring what happens to the operator's brain while they teleoperate the robot. An interesting phenomenon he has noticed is that touching his artificial creation can cause a physical reaction in him as if it was his own body. Nevertheless, Ishiguro's greatest accomplishment was creating a mechanical replica of himself. By meticulously mapping his own appearance, voice, and mannerisms onto an android body, Ishiguro brought his own likeness to life. He raises deep, powerful questions about our humanity and our creations, and it's scary, but it's also important that we face these questions, and he's doing that not in the realm of fiction, but in the laboratory, says IEEE fellow Ken Goldberg, a robotics professor at the University of California, Berkeley. It won't be just about machines, it'll be about us too. The robotic replica of Ishiguro not only bears an uncanny resemblance to its human counterpart, but also exhibits a degree of autonomy and interactivity. In addition to engaging in conversations, it interacts with others and performs tasks with remarkable precision, demonstrating how machines can possess human-like intelligence and behavior. 
Ishiguro devised the robot Ibuki to explore a new concept known as socially developmental robotics. As adult androids need mature intelligence to engage with people, providing this knowledge is complex. His idea was that if the android were childlike, it would be treated kindly and supported in its learning. This would enable the device to gain knowledge from interacting with adults in society. They can teach them the text and the words, but imagination cannot be taught about that word. Furthermore, to train deep learning, thousands of pictures of a cat or dog are required. A child given seven or eight pictures could understand a cat quickly, as well as have imagination about it. Deep learning is completely different from human learning. There are more clever functions in the human brain, but no one knows why. We can easily download Wikipedia and encyclopedias on robots, and the robots will be able to answer questions based on the knowledge in the encyclopedias. We don't know if the robot understands that knowledge. Understanding knowledge is so difficult. Without bodies and without experience, it is impossible to tell if a robot understands the real meaning of our symbols. Ishiguro's work not only pushes the boundaries of what is possible in the realm of robotics but also raises thought-provoking questions about identity, consciousness, and the relationship between humans and machines. By pioneering the field, he has inspired future innovations and challenged our understanding of what it means to be human by opening new avenues for research and development. Hiroshi Ishiguro's quest for a duplicate of himself offers a glimpse into a future where artificial beings may coexist with humans, blurring the lines between the biological and the synthetic. In the end, let watch how the robot operator show is following. Thanks for watching. Oh,